we welcome you once again to Strength for Today. What a blessing, what a privilege it is that we are blessed to come together once again. And our subject today is working with the Lord. We are working, we are workers with the Lord. Amen. I know you probably heard the expression that people say, well, uh, God don't need you, but you need God. Well, no, no, no. We need the Lord. Go, that goes without saying. We definitely need the Lord. But you know, on the other hand, God needs us also. And, and so we're working for the Lord. One time the Lord spoke to my heart and he said, wherever I send you, I'm with you. And sometimes, you know what happens when, when God speaks to us, sometimes we put our own uh, interpretation to that. And sometimes it's wrong. Now, what I see, what, the way I interpret that, if God send me, he speak to my heart and tell me to go, then he's with me. But no, that's not what he said. He said, wherever I send you. Now, understand this, as Christians, as saints, born again Christians, wherever we go, God is sending us. This goes for all of us. God is sending us. Now, but, but we have to qualify that. Now, let me ask you this. If God sent you to Reno and you own the slot machine, I don't believe God sent you there. Now, God is with you. God is with you. He's, he didn't leave you because you, he's with you everywhere you go. But, but uh, if you go there, and or if you go down to 7-Eleven to get the ticket, you know, it's a lot of us up to about a million dollars. And so people participate in those things. When I say people, I'm talking about Christians. Some Christians participate in it. Now, I didn't say it was you, but some people do. And so they say, well, and then people have told me, they said this to me, well, if, if, if I'm blessed, if I win that, then I will give to the church. I will give, I'll be a blessing to the church. And I say, yes, you know, I just say, well, you, you think I want that dirty money? Well, I, you know that old saying, don't ask, don't tell? I put that in the motion then. And so, but anyway, all I'm saying is that God is not always a part of everything we do, although he wants to be. Amen. And so um, if, if, if there are certain things you participate in, now, I, you know, I believe God has, well, I ain't no belief to it. I know God has great patience with us and what God is expecting for each one of us to grow up to mature, where, where we don't look to those things. Amen. Let me ask you this. You know why God is not a part of, um, say, you going to Reno? And I know Christians, they go to Reno, and then some of them would pray and say, God, just bless me, you know, bless me to hit the, the correct number and all of that. But you know why God is not a part of that? Because it was not, it was not a part of the covenant. It was not a part what Jesus has provided for us. It was not a part of the great price that he paid for our redemption. It's not a part of the great redemption plan of God. Amen. Glory be to God. And so if it's not a part, then we can't look for God to bless that. Now, but we are workers together with God, and God needs you. God, we are the body of Christ. We are his eyes. We are his feet. We are his hands. We are the body of Christ. In, in 1 Corinthians 3, 9, it says, for we are laborers together with God. Ye are God's husbandry. Ye are God's building. We are laborers together with God. In Isaiah 6 and 8, it says, also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, whom shall I send and who will go for us? Then said I, here am I, send me. This is the this is the encounter, the great vision, the uh, the manifestation manifestation of the presence of God that Isaiah experienced in the temple of the Lord. And then when when the the coals touched his mouth, he was purged, and he said, "Here, my God, I will go." And he was ready to go for the Lord. And I'm telling you, saints of God, we God needs you and I. He needs someone to go. And and whether you perceive it, understand it or not, you are in the will and in the plan of God. Amen. In Philippians three fourteen it says, I press towards the mark for the prize of the high callings of God in Christ Jesus. So there's a high calling of God. And it says you press. That infers that there could be opposition against you. That infers that it may not be the easiest thing for you to do, but we press our way. We press towards the mark of the of, of the prize of the high calling 
of God in Christ Jesus. Glory be to God. We're in the press. Psalms 128 in verse 2, it says, For thou shalt eat the labor of thine hands. Happy shall thou be, and it shall be well with thee. You're doing your work. You're doing things that are pleasing in the sight of God. You're happy about it. In 1 Corinthians 10, 31, it says, Whether therefore ye eat or drink, or whatsoever ye do, do all to the glory of God. That's pretty clear, isn't it? Whatever we do, we do it all to the glory of God. Hallelujah. Now, now, if, if there are certain things that you're doing and you can't say, I'm doing this to the glory of God, well, that's a good indication that maybe you need to stop doing it. Hello? Okay, in Proverbs 16 and 3, it says, Commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. Commit thy works, thy ways unto the Lord. You know the verse of scripture over there in Proverbs three six, and 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 uh, Proverbs five three and uh, five verse five. It says, "Trust in the Lord." It said, "In all thy ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct thy path." And so that's all of our ways. And here it's talking about commit thy works unto the Lord, commit thy ways unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. Amen. If anything, today we need our thoughts to be established in the Lord. In Philippians 4.13, very, very familiar verse of scripture that we're all quite familiar with. It says, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. See, God has given us the ability to do. God has strengthened us to do. Amen. That's what we have to do. We have to depend on his strength within us. Amen. We trust and we believe God to help us, to lead us, to direct us, to order our steps. Hallelujah. In Romans 12 and 2, and also verse 5, it says, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. There, there is a renewing of our mind. What does, what does it mean to re, renew and, renewing of your mind? It's we renew our mind through the word of God. We renew our mind by meditating in God's word. We renew our mind by seeing what God has to say. We see how God thinks. Amen. See, the word of God expressed how God thinks. It expressed what he thinks about situations. It expressed what his will is for our lives. It's through the word of God. And we renew our minds through God's word. Amen. And, we, and then we're able, we put ourselves in a place that we can prove what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Hallelujah. And, and also in verse, verse uh, 5, it says, So we being many are one body in Christ, and every one member one of another. There's many of us, but we're one body in Christ. And each body have an uh, individual. It's, it's a duty. It's that, that it performs. So we being many. See, he's what he's saying. He's speaking of uh, the body of Christ, just like your physical body. Your hands have a function. Your feet have a function. They have a part to fulfill. Amen. And so we as a whole, the body of Christ, we have individual roles that we have to fulfill. And we receive our instructions from the Lord. It said the steps of a good man are ordered up by the Lord, and, in, and he delighteth in his way. In Deuteronomy 10 and 12, it says, And now, Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee but to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways? and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thine heart, with all thy soul. Amen. That's what God wants us to do, is to serve him, to walk in his way, to serve him with all our hearts and with all our soul. Glory be to God. The Lord is our strength.